Hey guys, so quick video. I want to talk about, I've been following Joey Swell for a while and this is something that I've wanted to talk about but I haven't known how to and it's about gym culture. So I don't know how many of you know but I used to have an eating disorder and because of that I have struggled with my weight for years. So I have tried so many times to get healthy with you know, counting calories and working out and everything like that. And I do try to follow gym influencers to try and influence me to try new workouts and go to the gym and things like that. But I have never, ever felt comfortable going into a gym. I know no one's going to look at me. <laughs> That's not what people are there for. I know. I would just personally feel super uncomfortable. I'd feel lost. Like, I think I have an underlying lung condition which I get out of breath super super easy with any cardio literally any cardio it could just be like a normal thing because I haven't built up a tolerance it's been like that since I've been really really young and I don't seem to be able to find any sort of happy medium I've been tempted to get a, a personal trainer to try and help me through s some stuff like that but also I feel like a personal trainer would push me too hard and I I know my limits. I know that if I push myself too hard, I will not come back the next day. I will just give up. And so I've always just felt more comfortable working out at home. I have an elliptical, like literally right there and doing like fitness bands and, and like doing free weights and everything. I am never, ever, ever consistent, <laughs> ever. Like I'll, I'll have a couple of good months and then nothing for like six months. And I've really, really struggled. I've been tempted in the last month or two to join a gym but the amount of toxic gym culture and i know it's not everyone but it just makes me even more uncomfortable than i was already to go to the gym because there are so many people that feel entitled to film whether it's taking photos to get you know to get progress photos or whether they're videoing themselves as a gym influencer or you know if they're just filming themselves for their own progress whatever but the amount of videos where people have shown random people have said you know do you mind keeping me out of your video when they're clearly in it or or people making fun of people on the gym floor for doing something that they think is weird. This happened to him at the gym today. Should I go up to him and just poke him? He looks like depressed. Should I do it? I dare you. What should I do? To, should I like, should I touch his face? Yeah, he has headphones. Sit. <laughs> so. Help you? <laughs> he goes, can I help you? <laughs> or even filming in the locker room, which is fucking illegal. This guy. Still moving my progress here. What? Still moving my progress. Oh. I understand. Just. Yeah, I'm going to go right here. So that they can get their again progress stuff or whatever and not appreciating that if someone else is in their shot well first of all you should turn the camera off anyway in a fucking restrooms anyway someone says to them look can you turn that off and they get really shitty they don't even consider the fact that they're in the wrong in any of these cases joey's said multiple times like first of all he's already said restrooms and and changing rooms you should never ever sh ever should be filming and in, on the gym floor, it's a public space, and therefore, if someone is in your shot, it takes a second to turn around to them and say, look, I'm filming a video for 
Instagram or whatever. Are you okay being in the video? If not, I can change the angle. It takes two seconds to be polite. And these gym influencers are, and not even just influencers, like I said, just gym rats. They just appear so, so incredibly entitled and arrogant. Guys, don't be like this. Didn't even say excuse me. And then, wait for it. Proceeds to walk in front of me while holding 95 pounds DBS in each hand right before Watch this guy try move to me at the gym Checks absolutely nothing on his phone Looks over at me being busy sorting my wrist straps These fucking straps taking up too much time Makes a swift return Sad lift And I'm, I'm not saying this for every single person that goes to gym, please understand this. <sighs> you good, bro? Trust, trust, trust. Oh. Drop set? Bro, you good? Trust, please, please, bro. <laughs> That's crazy. Nigga saying sorry for walking through the camera. Hey, if you get mad at people for walking through your camera, bro, you need to go buy your own gym or some shit, man. I always tell people, bro, it ain't my, sh it ain't my gym. That's like my exact words. Anytime somebody walk through the camera, it ain't my gym. How am I gonna get mad at you for walking in the place that you pay for? No, I don't compete. <laughs> I don't compete. No. <laughs> No, I just like lifting heavy. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, you can't lift it. Make it easy for a bear. No. 70, that's crazy. It's actually not that impressive. What? It's not that impressive. Yeah, it is. No. To me, it is. You know what they say? What? They say comparison is the thief of joy. But I'm just saying, the people that treat others like that, it's almost like they gained muscle and lost empathy. So, yeah. I just wanted to make that quick video because if anyone else feels uncomfortable about going to the gym because of people like this, same. I'll get there eventually. If you like this video, make sure to give this a like and subscribe. I feel like it. I'd really appreciate it. Let me know if there's any topics you want me to talk about in the future. But I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.